Hello, my name's Sarah Mullen and I'm a school leader and Doctor of Education student. I'm very proud to have received the Contribution to Education of the Year award this year and just recently I was named a rising star in education and academia. Some of you may know me from Twitter and other social media channels as well or perhaps you might have seen me at an educational conference in, over the last couple of years. I'm really passionate about the transformational power of education and I often write for educational texts and academic journals internationally but today I'd like to thank Ronan and Annette at Consulted Northern Ireland for inviting me to talk about my little pride and joy. It's a book I put together during my last maternity leave back in 2018 and it's gone on to become a number one bestseller. It's stocked at university libraries across the country and it's even featured on the reading list for many initial teacher education courses which are beginning in September. The book is called What They Didn't Teach Me on My PGCE. This is a very special interview for me as I studied for my degree in Northern Ireland at Queen's University Belfast. I can clearly remember sitting in the Seamus Heaney Library filling in my application form for my own PGCE and little did I know back then that many years later I would still be studying, still be growing and developing as an educator and still be loving every single minute of it. Being a teacher is the best job in the world. The PGCE and other routes into education really are just the building blocks which set us up to become teachers, preparing us for a career filled with limitless opportunities. I've been lucky enough to coach and mentor many students and early career teachers and I'd often been told that I should write a book filled with all my own tips and advice. And so, with a book deal in place, an idea in mind, and nine months of maternity leave ahead of me, I decided to put metaphorical pen to paper and begin jotting down some little tips for future teachers. As an NQT mentor myself, I'd noticed that a lot of teachers entering the profession were rightly encouraged to read a range of excellent academic journals and course texts, but what I felt was missing was a book written by teachers doing the job day in, day out. A book written in a friendly, non-threatening, down-to-earth style. And so this is what I set out to achieve. I wanted to produce the book which I wish existed back when I was training to become a teacher. So I launched a call for submissions on social media and collected over 200 narratives from a range of educators across the world who offer their heartfelt words of wisdom, their honest reflections and even lots of laugh out loud anecdotes for aspiring student and early career teachers. We were all united in our mission to support, inspire and even amuse you, the future of education. I edited well over 100,000 words in the fields of my granny's home place in the beautiful beaches of Port Salon in Donegal. Little did I know back then that less than 12 months later, I would receive a tweet from a Queen's University graduate who was reading my book in preparation for her own PGCE beginning in September. It was a really a tweet that meant a lot to me. The book itself was published in December last year and became a number one bestseller on Amazon in its first week. It even sold out completely on Christmas Eve. The feedback I've received has been incredible and I would just like to offer a heartfelt thank you to every single person who's left a review, posted a picture of the book on social media or recommended the book to another teacher. Your kind words mean such a lot to me and they really give me a little boost to go on and do more things which I hope will spread a little positivity and help early career teachers such as Edu Teacher Tips there which I set up during lockdown. It's a free YouTube channel for teachers. I'm also releasing a version of the book What They Didn't Teach Me in Teaching College in Ireland this week and I have an international version of the book coming out in the autumn. 
My next book, Chronicles from the Classroom, is a collection of stories about the little wins, wonders and woes of being a teacher, which should hopefully be released just in time for Christmas. Thank you everyone who's tuned in today to um, listen to this and thank you again Ronan and Annette for having me on your fabulous show. Please do reach out and connect with me on social media. I tweet a lot at Mrs Sarah Mullen. I'm on Facebook by using the hashtag of the book as well and I'm also on Instagram and LinkedIn. If I can help you with anything, please do ask. And I'm also back in Northern Ireland in February for a Woman Ed on conference. So if you're around, please do come and say hello. Thank you very much for your time.